I'm going to show you how to change or put a new fuel line in a weed eater. And this will apply for blowers and all kinds of small equipment. The problem I have is the fuel line is too short so the filter in the end of the line is right about here and I want it to be down at the bottom of the tank to catch all the gas. You could also run into a problem these lines get brittle over time and that'd be another reason for changing it out. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is empty out the fuel in the tank. All right. Next, we're going to pull the fuel line out, and you can see the filters at the end of the line. It's hard to tell from this angle, but that only rests about halfway down the tank. And so I always have to keep this half full of fuel or it won't run. That's not good. This newer line I put on is for the primer bulb, and it's the overflow. When you're priming it to start it, it pulls fuel from the tank into the carburetor, and then that's the overflow that goes back into the tank. Okay. We don't need to change that. We're just going to change this line. This line is not brittle, so I'm going to disconnect it at the connector here and replace it from that point down to the filter. With the line disconnected, I take a hemostat and pull the line out. And then I can pull the old line out with the filter. This would be a good time to change your fuel filter. Mine's in good shape. So I'm just going to take a little compressed air and blow through the line to clean out any debris that might be in the filter. That's a good idea. With that out, take the new fuel line, which you can get at any hardware store. You want to make sure you get the right size. And I like to cut the tip at an angle so it's easy to get through the hole. There's a little hole in the side of the plastic tank, right there. And it's just a matter of feeding that through. Push it through. And if you have a hemostat, you can just grab it, pull it through. And I want to pull it back up towards me so I can put the filter back on. I want to cut this off straight. And put the new or the old filter on the new line. And we're all set. Then before we cut the line at this end, I want to drop this in and make sure I get to the bottom of the tank this time that I've got enough line. This was way too short. It sure looks like it. Who did that? And that's all the way down in there now. That looks much better. Now it's just a matter of cutting the new line to length. Hooking it back up. Peel it back up. And we're ready to go to work. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.